What's going on, my peoples? We are here again. Um, on my way to work early today. I'm running really early, but I'm up, so I'm just gonna head on into work. You know that word. You know. Big up everybody out there, man. That's um tuning into my channel. You know, where we bring authentic, real life topics and everyday topics. And today, I got a I got a question from um subscribers um, he asked me what's my plans after food service which is a very good question right and I'm gonna try to I'm, I'm gonna try to answer this question as honestly as possible right damn that light dark I'm gonna try to answer this question as honestly as possible right so and 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 reason why this is important because I want some of y'all to think about this too, you know, because in food service, it's not many, not many drivers make it for the long haul, you know, it's not many drivers that stay for the long haul to retire as a food service driver, but many do, many really do, you know what I mean, the longer you stay, the easier your ride should get, unless you're doing like a chain account like how easy could a chain account get you know you can't really get that easy because chain is chain you know but if you're doing like street accounts and stuff like that you know that you can end up getting some sweet sweet route after so many years in the company you know? so just to get to that point though it, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get to that point so shout out to all the veteran drivers out there that's dropping pallets all day. You guys have a good chance to retire at this. But today I'm speaking for the drivers that might have came into the game late. And um, I'm going to tell you some of the things that I see guys do after they plan to um, leave food service. And then I'm going to talk about what my plan is if I was ever to leave food service. First, I can tell you that um, I'm gonna do this. Everything's going smooth, so I'm gonna stay consistent, and I will do this as long as I possibly could. Never say never. You never know what um, God have God have in front of you. You know what I'm saying? If you open a better door, you gotta go through that door. But my plan right now is to stay put. All right. So the way I look at it. I was supposed to leave. If I was supposed to leave like food service like let's say tomorrow. <laughs> I'm an owner operator in heart, right? So that's the only thing, other thing I see myself doing is being an owner operator. That's why when you guys hear me talk, you guys never hear me like putting owner operators down. You know, I'll get um shout out owner operators. I, I I believe in stuff like that, man. Circumstances when, when when you got little kids growing up and stuff, you got to be home with them and you got to be a father. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happened with me. Uh, when I was on an operator, I got off the road and I decided to be an everyday father instead of being over the road. You know what I'm saying? So if I was supposed to leave the service earlier than I uh, planned to, I would go back to being an operator. And for any guys that's out there that's um, thinking about leaving food service, most of the guys that leave food service, they either end up going as an owner operator. Um, I see, I see some guys they get some LTL jobs because after a while they don't care about the money, they don't care about the pay cut. To be honest with you, they just want an um, easier job. Some guys even go back over the road, you know? That's the trend that I see. But the number one trend that I see when guys are leaving food service, and I'm not talking about the guys that come here, work for a year and leave, or six months, or two years. No, I'm talking about some guys that have been here for years. One of the number one trend that I see is God, when guys do leave, if guys do leave, they're becoming owner operators, you know? And one of the reasons for that, I believe, is um, the money. Um, they're used to making a lot of money in food service, so a lot of 
of guys don't want to take no lateral move. And a lot of guys don't want to take no lesser jobs, you know. They are tired of the work of food service and they want to, um, they want an easier job. So, they go ahead and um, become an owner operator, which many believe that they will make a lot more money. But only few is going to succeed because to become an owner operator, to become a successful owner operator, you got to have a, something called, you got to have, you got to, you got to know what you're doing. Not anybody can just buy a truck, jump in a truck and make money. You gotta make connections, you gotta know people, you gotta know numbers, you gotta you gotta know with everything, man, you know, to be a successful owner operator. So I'm not I'm not ever gonna sit here and promote somebody to go get a truck because I don't want you will throw away thousands and thousands of dollars if you don't know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You really gotta know what you're doing out there, man. You know, I was successful at it because yo know my numbers and stuff like that you got to be a little smart man to be your own operator to make it you know ain't no faking it out there ain't no faking it you gotta you gotta you gotta know your numbers man so that's one of the trends i see um guys doing man now me personally now um getting back to your question Shout out to Josh. It's a good question you brought up, man. I would like to um, retire locally as a local driver. I would like to hang on as long as possible. Now, the, the good thing that I got on my side is every year that every year that passes, the easier the routes are going to get. Because the more the more um, the more um, seniority you get, or the more you become of a veteran, the easier the routes going to get. Right, so advantage me now say for instance you came in the food service and you're like say you're like 50 years old or 55 years old and you have to wait for like let's just say you're 55 years old right and you got to wait for like five years for an easy route then it might become like a little harder but it's all about putting in your time and waiting you know what i mean and um think you could retire as a full service driver, but I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all, man. It is tough, you know. It is tough, man, because remember we're on, um, this is our body, man. Sometimes, like, your body just can't, everybody, everybody's body is different, man. Some people's body just can't take that, the everyday running up and down, lifting cases and stuff. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, like, my body is thank God my body, like, I've been good, you know what I mean, and thank God for that, you know what I mean, like, my body's been good, you know, but a lot of people just have a different reaction to this type of, type of work, you know, and I can't, I can't blame them, everybody's different, so a lot of guys would come here for like a year or two, or maybe a couple years, five years or something like that, then they'll leave, man. They'll go into different industries. Um, I don't hear a lot of guys going back to school. You have a few guys that will try to um, get into management and stuff like that. Do something different. Then you got you got a couple guys. They'll probably try to get in the routing department or stuff like that. Just do different things within the company, you know? Just to get out of the everyday driving and stuff. But there's other paths you can take within um, whatever company you choose to go to. You don't have to leave the company. There are other things you can probably do. You can probably um, look into getting the sales or something, man. Don't just like, don't just come in the company with a negative attitude that you're gonna have to leave because like, you're getting old. If you think old, then you're old. And you're gonna be old. And your body's gonna um, get that old reaction. You gotta take care of your body, man. You gotta eat right, act right, be right, do right, you know what I'm saying? And your body's gonna be right, you know. But that was a good question, though, man. Um, appreciate that question, Josh. Shout out to you. And um, hope this answers some people's question out there. And let me tell you something, man. Like, when it comes to like making videos and stuff like that, your content, it's not hard to, it's not hard to me. Like, I don't even think about it. I don't even like 
premeditate what I'm going to say because, yo, I speak from the heart. I speak the truth. So I'm saying um, nothing rehearsed, nothing scripted. I'm non-scripted. I, I don't even edit my videos, yo. Like, if I make a mistake in my video, yo, that's, it's just going to stick. You know what I mean? I just... I just speak the truth. Like some people, like I'm not a, I'm not a YouTube money chaser. Like it's not enough money. YouTube don't pay us a lot. Of, YouTube don't pay a lot of money for me to, um, to chase money on YouTube, man. I'm just here trying to help people, you know. I'm trying to help young drivers, you know. I'm trying to help you drivers and stuff like that. So I can't, like, I can't, like. to like another YouTuber because like I'm be honest with you like I'm just on a like a different level when it comes to like talking to people because I'm speaking the real man you know I speak the real so shout out to everybody out there man um hope y'all have a good day back to work this is on Thursday second of the year try to make the best of it, you know what I mean, and I appreciate that question, man, y'all keep dropping them questions, that was a good question, I had to share that question with everybody, you know what I mean, I had to share that question with everybody, y'all take it easy out there, thanks, thanks for watching.